Hey everyone, welcome back to Instrumentation Lectures. For the past few videos, we were discussing about measurement of resistances and so far we have covered the methods of low resistance measurement. From this lecture onwards, we will study about measurement of medium resistances. We have already learned that medium resistances are those resistances whose resistance value lies between 1 ohm and 0.1 mega ohm. Now there are mainly 5 methods used for measurement of medium resistances. The first one is ammeter voltmeter method. Then there is Wheatstone bridge method, substitution method, ohmmeter method and finally carry foster method. Of this we have already discussed about ammeter voltmeter method and Wheatstone bridge method while we were studying about low resistance measurement. So I suggest you to check out those two lectures to study about these two methods. Also the links to these videos are given in the description below. Now in this lecture we will study about substitution method. So let's start our lecture. Just like the name implies in substitution method we are substituting a standard resistance in place of unknown resistance to find its value. Here is the connection diagram. We have a battery E, an ammeter, a variable resistance RH which is used to control the current in the circuit, a standard variable resistance S and the unknown resistance R whose value is to be measured. This switch is used for putting resistances R and S into the circuit alternatively. Now let's see the procedure for measurement of resistance in this method. First the switch is put in position 1 and the unknown resistance R is connected to the circuit. Now the variable resistance RH is adjusted till the ammeter pointer is at a chosen scale mark. For instance if we take an ammeter scale it will be having multiple markings. Now in the absence of RH let's say the ammeter pointer is at some random position like this. In this case accurate measurement is not possible. So we adjust the current in the circuit by adjusting RH to ensure that the ammeter pointer points to a chosen mark and let's say this is 1 ampere. Therefore we can write current in the circuit I is equal to E by RH plus R and let's name it as equation number 1. Ok so once we have set the current in such a way that the ammeter points to a chosen scale mark we can move to the third step. In the third step we will change the switch from position 1 to position 2 putting the standard variable resistance S in the circuit. An important thing to note is that here we are keeping the variable resistance RH intact. Ok, okay so as the switch is changed to position 2 the current in the circuit varies right. As a result the ammeter might now points to some other position like this. This brings us to the final step in the procedure. As I already said this S here is a standard variable resistance uh, like a decayed box. This means that we can adjust the value of S to any desired value of our choice. So in the final step we are adjusting the magnitude of S until the current reaches back to its previously set value that is in our case 1 ampere. So we can write current in the circuit I is equal to E by RH plus S and let's name it as equation number 2. Now we can equate equation number 1 and equation number 2 as the currents are set to same magnitude. So equation 1 equal to equation 2 gives us E by R H plus R equal to E by R H plus S. Here we can cancel out these E's and we said that we are not changing the value of R H once the current is set. So we can cancel out this R H also which brings us to R equal to S. And since we know the value of S we can find out the value of R. So this is how substitution method works. Now the substitution method is more accurate than an ammeter voltmeter method. This is because 
the ammeter voltmeter method assumes that the ammeter has zero resistance and voltmeter has infinite resistance but practically this is not the case also there is the problem of lead and contact resistances when it comes to ammeter voltmeter method however all these are not a problem when it comes to the case of substitution method but keep in mind that the accuracy of this method is destroyed if there is any change in the battery emf during the time the readings on the two settings are taken thus to avoid errors a battery of ample capacity should be used so that its emf remains constant also in this case the accuracy also depend upon the sensitivity of the ammeter used the accuracy also depends upon the resolution of standard resistance s yes. that's all for this lecture if you have any doubts please ask them in the comments so that either me or some other viewer can help you also if you found the lecture useful please like the video and also support us by subscribing to the channel in the next video we will talk about ohmmeters thanks for watching and have a nice day